It's David Pinger here with Vital MX along with Sean Klinger. And we're out here at Fox Raceway today with an interesting project for you. We've got a 2020 Yamaha YZ250 bone stock started with. We went out, got warmed up, got comfortable. He's riding the vet track. I'm out on the main track out here today. And we're going to run through all of Boysen's reed valve products. So they've got different reed pedals you can try. They've got a, an X wing system that sits in between your, your carburetor and your air boot increases airflow and they've got uh, a whole reed valve that's called the rad valve that is sort of combines a whole combination of things on top of that we threw on an fmf pipe and silencer at the end of the day to kind of complement that and we're going to go through each one step by step and explain to you kind of the changes we felt along the way in each one of those uh, it's also worth mentioning if you are somebody who's just running a stock bike and you get some cracks in your reeds there are different options outside of just oe products and likely, a lot of times, they cost less than the original equipment stuff. So uh, we'll have some great options there and some ideas for you on that side as well. So our first test was uh, what they call the power reeds, boys and power reeds. And uh, it's just a fiber reed that is a replacement, goes right onto your stock uh, cage. And for me out on the track, it was a subtle change. Uh, again, these are, are, I would say, more designed as just a replacement for the standard ones, which Pretty much any standard reed, if you run it long enough, is going to start cracking and chipping. So you're going to need to replace them. And keeping those fresh, man, it'll keep, one, to keep your bike starting better, uh, a much sharper feel on the throttle in terms of throttle response, a much more connected feel to the rear tire. So really important to keep your reeds checked, make sure that they are in good condition. And if you need to replace them, power reed is a good place to go. Uh, so what I found is just a very slight improvement in throttle response from stock. Uh, so something that's just designed to replace the stock ones but actually is an improvement and probably cost a little less money uh, seemed like a real good jump for me in terms of horsepower change i would say not too much didn't take any away anywhere just gave me a little bit crisper throttle response what were you finding yeah i was that's that's exactly what i felt too i mean it, it, it didn't feel like um it manipulated the power in any way the only thing is maybe on top i did notice that that it felt like it maybe didn't rev out all the way that the stock did maybe shifted the power a little bit but you know overall yeah it's it's about the same as stock if not better with the with the better throttle response all right our second test was the pro series reads uh, these are uh, basically half carbon fiber half fiber uh, again meant to replace the standard read and uh, for me it had a slightly stronger pull than the standard one and from the power rate, even a slight improvement from there. And uh, for me, a little bit more from the bottom to the middle, I felt is where I, I felt a stronger pull. So it had the improved throttle response of the power read and even slightly better than that in terms of performance from the bottom through the middle. Top end to me was not changed, didn't feel any different at all. But if I was looking to just replace my reads, this is where I'd go if I didn't want to bolt anything else up. You know, in hindsight, we tested all these different products. This is where I ended up actually enjoying the bike the most. And it was because, as, as we'll talk about with the other products, they do make more power or at least feel like there's more power, especially in the meat, in the mid. But that also kind of, some of them narrow the power a little bit. And I felt like this combo was, was the best kind of spread of smooth, usable power, but really great throttle response. It's crisp, it's immediate, but also not too peaky. Did you feel an improvement the bottom to middle? That's where I was feeling maybe a little bit stronger pull. Yeah, I, I felt like a, a little bit more of a torquey character, 
that um, it did help me be a, a little bit more lazy. Yeah. Um, that you had that kind of pull right out of a uh, uh, turn into a jump or something. Yeah, I thought that was impressive just to bolt on reads and get performance gains. I, I thought oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. And again, I like kind of echoing what Sean said. If I was just going to find some bolt on reads, this is what I'd go with the Pro Series uh, reads from Boysen. All right, our third test was the Carbon Tech reads. These are obviously, as the name implies, all carbon fiber. Uh, for me. Uh, we also made a jetting change, which was recommended for them, a um, little bit leaner. And to be honest with you, I just didn't feel much difference from this to the Pro Series reads. Still good, everything, everything, all the benefits that the Pro Series read had, but I didn't gain anything better. I didn't feel like the throttle response was improved from that or power or anything else. So kind of a wash from our, our uh, second test, which was obviously a big improvement from, from stock to that point. So, Again, that's why I landed on those Pro Series ones if I'm just bolting reads on. What about you? Yeah, maybe it was the, the layout of the vet track is a little different, but I I felt with these reads, the power came on a little bit later. Still had great throttle response, but you're kind of waiting for that bigger hit in the middle. Yeah, I find it, this is why I like doing uh, different tests with different kind of skill levels of riders. We're on different tracks today, and but it's nice to hear his feel of of a, of a certain product might be a little different but we both kind of landed in the same place for the most part so it's interesting to hear all right so going into our fourth test now this was the x-wing product uh this butts up against the carburetor sits inside of your air boot acts as sort of a venturi kind of channeling the air in and kind of getting rid of some of that turbulence my test on this was a very it was a very subtle change it, it kind of spread everything out a little bit smoother and it kept the top end from falling off just a touch. So what I, what I gathered basically was a smoothing of the power all the way across the power band and a little bit extra up top. Let, let it rev out just a little bit further. By itself, be like, eh, I don't know if I just put that in by itself uh, as a product. Like I don't think the gains were super big by itself. That was my takeaway. Um, that was with the Carbon Tech read still uh, and the jetting change, which they recommended with it. Uh, what was your take on that? Yeah, it was, it was pretty much the same. The Carbon Tech, where, where I felt it narrowed the power a little bit, the X-Wing kind of stretched it out, especially like you said on top. I noticed there was a, a straightaway that it was like the same point with the Carbon Tech, I would hit the top end and then it would just, the power would just level. And I felt like there was a, almost like a, a ledge there. And then the X-Wing kind of let it just ring out a little bit farther, pull farther. And I was like, okay, I don't need to shift. Yeah. I can just kind of spread that power out a little bit. But it is like you said, a very subtle thing and they work really good together. Yeah, instead of basically, if you're looking at a dyno chart, instead of it just falling off a cliff, it just carries out a little bit yeah, further, which is which is a great, a great feature. Uh, but what we found on our next test uh, was really where that thing shined. So going into our fifth test, this was the rad valve. Uh, so this is basically an, a complete assembly from Boysen uh, that includes the whole reed block, uh, the reeds that are on it, the whole thing, it mounts in and on its own. It's a whole unit. We ran this in conjunction with the X-Wing, and to me, this was the biggest bolt-on improvement we had all day long. There was a noticeable improvement in throttle response, a noticeable improvement in power across the board from, I mean, from way down low as you rolled it on all the way up top. It, it improved power everywhere, pulled it even farther on the top end, and, uh, and I also wrote less clutch needed. So, improved that down low almost torque numbers to me the rad valve with the x-wing was like if i had to pick one thing today that was my that was a winner that thing was huge difference like noticeable bolt-on horsepower and the cool thing about this is you can throw it into a stock bike it does not lose any reliability whatsoever but you gain significant performance uh, out of it so what was your take yeah it was like you said the most noticeable change the most noticeable difference and this is what's really cool about doing this all the same day. It was kind of a lot of work. We had some help to change all this stuff out. You can really tell the difference because all the, the read stuff before was kind of manipulating the power character, not really huge boosts or anything. This was more power. Yeah. This was noticeably okay, but in the seat, I feel more power. Like you said, didn't need to clutch as much. I could just rely on the, the increased torque, the increased power, noticeable faster bike. This is something that everyone would appreciate. If you're a, whether you're a novice rider, a woods rider, you like moto, you do a little of both. It was just better everywhere. It didn't make it less manageable, less rideable. It was just better everywhere. You know, I think as far as like the other reads that we tried, anyone can appreciate a little bit better throttle response. So if you're looking to just replace reads, again, 
whether you're off-road, moto, freestyle, I don't care what you're doing, it's going to be an improvement. You're going to like it. And I think it's the same thing with this combo, the rad valve and the X-Wing. I don't think there's anybody that would go, nah, I, I, I like the stock better. I don't think anyone would say that. All right, so bumping into our sixth and final test, uh, we left the rad valve, the X-Wing in, and we just bolted on an FMF pipe and silencer. And uh, for me, basically, it was just an enhancement of what the rad valve did. Just a little bit more power. I noticed it mostly through the middle. I felt like the top was about the same, not, not too much different, maybe a slight improvement, a little bit more over rev. Bottom was the same, it definitely didn't lose anything. Uh, a little bit more meat right in the middle. So when I was kind of exiting a turn and just starting to get into the power, I felt maybe it was a little bit stronger. So an improvement for sure. And sounds better, definitely looks nicer. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, this one was, uh, I mean, it's not a huge drastic change from, from the rad valve because that was such a big change. Uh, I think this is probably the most, the most power with the widest spread out of all the setups that we had. And I mean, I do have to say, it's like, if you're going to race, you want to get the most power out of your bike. I think this, uh, out of the YZ250, out of all the setups we, we tried, this is, you know, the best. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you the most um, power all the way through the power band. In conclusion, I do have to backpedal a little bit. Like, I, out of all the setups I rode today, I actually did like the, the Pro Carbon reads the best the middle is that ones. right yeah and the only reason why i say that is better than the rad valve and the x-wing the rad valve and the x-wing okay. definitely more power but i think even the stock this bike has a lot of power mm -hmm. if i want to ride off-road and the track and have the one bike and just kind of cruise and have a good day of riding i think uh the the, the pro reads for me okay were the best. that's interesting so i'll eat my words and say maybe for that level of rider somebody who just wants something friendly and, and kind of cruisy, maybe that is better than the uh, the rad valve. I would say anybody intermediate, expert level, vet expert type of level, uh, you're going to want that rad valve and that uh, X-Wing. It's just, it's just a better power. It's not less rideable. It's not worse anywhere. It's just more horsepower. So I, to me, it was a simple bolt-on no-brainer. Uh, I was really impressed with it. So Thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Yamaha for letting us bum this bike for the day. Thanks to Decal Works for putting together the graphics for us. A uh, big thank you to Boysen, to FMF, to Inside Line Connect, our buddy Hapa, who helped us take this thing apart and back together uh, six or seven times. So we really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun for us to walk through it. We learned a lot. Hope you guys can take some of that info and uh, apply it to your own motorcycles. Boysen makes a full line of stuff, as do FMF, for all makes and models. So get over and check those guys out and all the things they're offering. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.